There are two things that I love in life. One, taxes. The other, gas fees. Nah, not really. Let's fix that. Um, the gas fees. Sorry. Net to dev. You don't have to be a blockchain developer, but you still are a well aware, well versed blockchain or crypto connoisseur. You are aware of gas fees on the Ethereum blockchain. Mm -hmm. So those good old gas fees that I love whenever I have to deploy a smart contract or whenever I have to buy or transfer to any interaction with an Ethereum based EVM blockchain, you have to pay gas fees. And I am not against paying fees to use a service because if we need to validate that transaction, we got to help the miners out. However, there's times that, you know, you know, come on. One time, the last time I minted a smart contract, I paid like a thousand dollars just to mint the smart contract. More than a thousand dollars actually. What we are going to do in this video and I think this can help us not only fix the gas fees, but also leverage a private no service. What we're going to do, we are going to integrate Alchemy private node service. In this case, what we're going to use is the Alchemy API. We're going to get the estimated gas fee per EIP 1559 because after the London fork, which was basically an upgrade to the Ethereum blockchain, which induced a new way of calculating gas fees for transactions. So now in the new way of deploying, interacting, executing functions that are payable in the smart contract, we need to pay gas fees and we can actually invoke certain gas fee attributes or parameters onto the methods, onto the call to the smart contract. We need to send the maximum priority fee and we need to send the max fee. Okay, max priority fee. It's basically a tip. Hey, miner, can you process this transaction for me quicker? You know, you want, um, I need this ASAP. So you give some tip on the side. I'm like, hey, you know, make my transaction a priority, okay? So what will that do is if you provide a tip, your transaction will be expedited, or in this case, will be processed faster than non-tippers, okay? And you know what happens when you don't tip in a restaurant. <laughs> uh, okay, so a an, max gas fee, it's basically the amount, the maximum amount that you're willing to pay to process a transaction. And that includes the base fee, which is literally the base that you need to cover. This is the, this, this is like the base fare or the base amount that you need to pay in order for you to send that transaction. And you got the max priority fee, which is the tip to the miner. So if you combine those two, and you add them up, you get the max gas fee, which is how much are you willing to pay to get a transaction expedited and processed on the blockchain, okay? With Alchemy, what we can do is we can let Alchemy tell us which one should be the suggested gas fee for that particular transaction. And what Alchemy will do is will give us the value based on the last most recent block process. So Alchemy will read the blockchain, will get those values, and it's going to tell you, hey, there you go. This is the last gas fee paid in the blockchain. So you should be using that one to process your transactions. Okay, so what we are going to do, we're going to leverage Alchemy to get us that information. And this will make your transactions more gas efficient because we're now getting fees straight from the Ethereum blockchain and we're following EIP 1559 to send our transactions with a more 
precise gas fee. If we don't add that onto the function, what's gonna happen, we're not gonna be following EIP 1559, which our gas fees will be significantly higher. And we don't want that. We wanna make sure that we get the latest and you know the, the cheapest and the most cost-effective transaction gas fee for our customers, our buyers, our users, okay? So let's go ahead. First thing I'm going to do, I am going to jump into the Alchemy website. We are going to create an account. I already made one. So what I'm going to tell you to do is you make an account, you log into an account, then we are going to create a, a web app. So you're gonna see me, I'm gonna do it. Then with that information, we will have an API key and we will have an HTTPS address or path that we are going to import into React so then we can do Web3 calls and get the information from Alchemy. Once we're done with that, then we can go ahead and process the transaction by adding those additional fields to comply with EIP 1559, okay? All right, so let's go ahead, let's jump right in. And one thing I wanna make sure, uh, I'm not being paid by Alchemy at all. Uh, this is me, I decided to use Alchemy. There's other services will give you exactly the same information, but I just wanted to take the advantage of using Alchemy because I believe they have a very, very nice platform and it's very easy, very intuitive, okay? And other videos, I use Morales for something else. I'm going to be using Alchemy, okay? So in this case, this is Alchemy, okay? So let's go ahead and let's make this happen. Okay, let's work on this. And this should be a fairly quick video to show you how can we integrate Alchemy to our Web3 NFT Mint application. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom a little bit here. So basically they are a private node service, very similar to Morales and Infura. So check them out. Um, they have a free tier or a free subscription with a certain limit of requests. Okay, so you have to make sure that if you think your website will use more than the limit, then you should upgrade to a higher tier, okay? So, once you log in, so you wanna go to alchemy.com, create your account. Once you're done with that, then we will log in, right? And once we logged in, we will get a dashboard just like this. It's going to start with one demo account is just to show you how everything communicates, but then we need to create another app. I already have one here, but I'm going to do the entire process so you can see how it's done. We're gonna create an app and we're gonna call this net to dev NFT portal, okay? And we can type a description, NFT portal, EIP 1559, because this is what we want to see in this video, okay? Now, very important, make sure that the application will, it's attached to the right blockchain. In this case, I am developing on Wrinklebyte, and you can see here, deprecated. So there is a big change coming up soon with Ethereum, which it's going to integrate more into Ethereum 2.0, those three blockchains are, those test nets are no longer valid. So what I'm going to do in the upcoming videos, we are going to start moving ourselves to Gorly. Gorly, I hope I pronounced that well, but Gorly. Uh, so then we can start using the latest and greatest, okay? So we need to make sure that our application will work as expected, okay? So this is a test net, you know, your main net will not change. This is just to test, okay? So we are going, in this case, I'm just going to use Wrinklebot and we're going to create this app. Once we're done, we will get the information right here, okay? And this will be the, the information that we need. We basically have a portal that we can see live monitoring of that application. So every time someone interacts with our Web3 application, we will see the activity right here, which is very cool. It's amazing, okay? So with that said, now what I'm gonna do, I am going to get the key. And if you can see right here, I'm gonna zoom in, you are going to select view key. The only thing that I need 
from the key will be the HTTP site or the HTTP address because the API is already appended. The API key has already been appended, so I just need to copy this, okay? So we're gonna copy that. Now, what I'm gonna do, I am going to get in my Virtual Studio code, I am going to open a new page or I'm going to create a new file. I'm just gonna type that address right there, okay? Because we need this to build the var or the constant that will store the alchemy process. Next thing, very important. We want to install the alchemy dependency for React for NPM. So with that, you wanna go to Google and you type NPM Alchemy Web3, okay? Then you want to get this right here, okay? So you wanna copy this, you basically go into NPM, make sure that you select this particular library, okay? And we will copy it. We then go to our React.js npm server and we will go ahead and install alchemy like this i already got installed but in your, in your case make sure that the server is no longer active stop the server install then re-enable the server okay so there you go cool there you go next thing that we got to do we now have to work in the react.js application so what we need to do we are going to import once we get that install and I got to make sure that the application is up. So let me take a quick look real quick. Yeah, it's all good. Okay, awesome. So let me go back. So what I'm going to do now, I am going to import. Okay, what I'm going to import. We want to import create Alchemy Web3 from the NPM application that I just installed, the Alchemy library, okay? Now, the next thing I have to do, I have to create a var, okay? Or a constant. I have to create a constant, and the constant, basically, what it's going to do is going to create a connection, or at least a handshake to the Alchemy API. Basically, it's a way for me to bind a constant to the URL path. So, in in our code, in our app.js, I just need to create a new constant and we can say this web3, but because we already have a web3, we want to call this alchemy or let's just abbreviate to be alchemy. We are then going to paste that HTTPS address, okay? So with that said, I am going to gra grab this. I wanna copy, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna paste. Okay, perfect. Now we got the constant that we are going to use to perform the API call to Alchemy to get that information. We have to call this create Alchemy Web3 and then we're just gonna close this in parentheses. And sure enough, that should do it. Let's go back. Next thing that I have to do, pay attention here, this is very important. We want to use the EIP 1559 every time that we do a transaction on the blockchain. The, in each function, when we call that mint and we click that mint button, it's going, to, it's going to get that information and then it's gonna do the actual call. This is the command that it actually talks to the blockchain. This is the command that is going to invoke MetaMask and open the wallet and interact with, with your wallet, okay? But before we hit this command, we got to send the gas fee amount. So MetaMask or any other wallet knows what gas fees to use, which gas fees to use, the values, okay? So with that, we got to first get the max priority fee per gas. So with the Web3 Alchemy library, I can now call my Web3 Alc, which is the constant that we created, dot eat, we, which is one of the modules inside the Alchemy library. And then we are going to call their function that says get max priority fee per gas. Then one thing that I have to mention, this is a promise. If you, if you know JavaScript and JavaScript, we get promises, which is basically a list of results or basically 
a list of values that we can then use to interact with functions. Okay, I'm not gonna go deep into that because there's a lot to it, but we're not just going to get a simple number. This is not gonna give us a simple number. From there, we need to extract, okay, from this whole output, I need to extract what information? I can create a var or basically an object that I can get the information from here and then I can grab the information that I'm looking for, okay? So it's gonna make more sense once I continue pasting. And what I'm doing, I need to get two values. If you remember at the beginning of the video, I got, I, I mentioned two values are important. We need the base fee and we need the max priority fee, which is the tip to the miner, okay? With that said, I now need to get the base fee. We are already calling the API to get the max priority fee, but now we need to get the base fee, okay? So with that said, the next line that I gotta paste, basically what it's gonna do, hey, get this and get and store that information here, but then also I need you to call this as well and then get blocked. What is this doing? This is going to get from the Alchemy's service is going to get the last pending block being processed on the blockchain using this function from get block we are looking for anything that shows pending then that can that that's considered the pending block then i want you to store whatever you get from this call into block okay so block is basically the name of the var or the output to store this information got it Awesome. Now we need to create three vars. We need to create a var to store the value for the base fee. We need to create another var to store the max priority fee, which is the tip. And then we need a third var that will calculate the max fee, which the max fee per the EIP 1559 is the sum of base fee plus max priority fee, which means it's the maximum amount of gas fees that you're willing to pay. And this is provided for us by Alchemy because Alchemy is looking at that block, at that pending transaction, and, and they were able to export how much they paid for gas, and they, they know that that's the latest, okay? So with that said, I am going to now get the base fee and store that in the var. So we are going to call this var base fee, right? And then we want that output to become a number. And then what am I trying to, to store as a number under base fee? We want to get block, which is this particular information right here. But from block, I need to get the information under the base fee per gas field. Okay, you wonder how I get this information. Let's go to the Alchemy documentation and let's take a look at the gas fee. I think it's here. How to send transactions with EIP 1559. And then we go down here and you're going to see this uh, with, um, with, J with JavaScript, but in this case, we're using uh, React, which we have to format a little bit different, but it's the same process, okay? So right now they're saying, if you want to send a transaction legacy, non-EIP 1559, this is what you do. You basically just send it the way we're saying, sending it and just let MetaMask give you the price, right? But we're, we don't want to go that route. So if we want to use EIP 1559, we then need to get the information from the block. Okay, so from the Ethereum blockchain, we need to get the latest information that was used to calculate gas reward or estimate, okay? And with that, we can then pull that information from the call and then get the value and use the value on our code, okay? Get me the value for base fee per gas, okay? Now we got the first one. Now I need the priority fee. So I'm gonna create this and I'm going to call this max priority equals and also will be a number but what I need to get from, I need to get the tip, okay? So I am just calling tip. So whatever you get from here, store it in tip, and then I'm gonna call it right here so I can store that into max priority, okay? Follow me so, so far, you're, you're good, awesome. If not, rewind. 
Free wine. That's, it's been a while since I've used that term. That's VHS. Like, go back. But I'm old school. Okay, max fee. Now what we need to do, we need to calculate the max priority and the base fee together. So it's the, the, the maximum amount that you're willing to pay for gas fee. This will be the max fee. Okay, that doesn't mean that you're paying that, but this is what you're willing to pay. Okay, just make sure. Base fee plus max priority, because we want to add those up. And now we got the max fee. See how cool this is? Very cool. Okay. And now that we have that, now we get the information that we need to use to call the mint function, but in this case, using EIP 1559. Okay. So, because this is going to make the entire call a little bit long, what I'm going to do, I'm going to press enter and add this to a separate space right here. So we are sending it from my account. If you see, I'm still using the same uh, Web3.js call. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to send it from my account. This doesn't change. It's the same value string, total, total amount. But now after this, I got to add another thing, right? And then we're going to now check this out. We are going now to specify max fee per gas. Okay. And this is what the Ethereum blockchain is expecting. The, the call is expecting to receive. It's expecting to receive max fee per gas. And what are we going to give? This is the maximum amount that I'm willing to pay for the transaction, which in this case will be the max fee right here. Okay. So in this case, I'm just going to invoke that max fee. Okay. And this is calling this. Okay, cool. Coma. Now we also need to tell and specify the priority. Uh, besides the max fee, I'm going to give the max priority else it's it might give you an error because it's not you're not providing max priority so it's going to say that max fee is higher than max priority and that's not allowed so you still have to provide max priority which i'm going to do max priority per and it's case sensitive so you got to make sure that where uh where you need a cap letter you you need to type cap letter okay so you're going to do max fee per gas colon max fee and that max priority fee per gas. And then we're going to call max priority. And that's basically the max fee per gas. Okay. And that's about it. Now we have to close the entire um, promise. So we got uh, two brackets. We got some parentheses. So we have to close this right here. So what I'm going to do I finished the Web3 call right here. This is the Web3 call, you know. And now what I need to do, I have to close the first promise, which is a bracket parenthesis, then another one, which is the second, which is the top. If you can see here, if I hover over here, you're going to see that this is tied to this one right here because it's like, uh, highlight it and then now this parenthesis is it's right here so now i gotta do the same thing for this and for this and that should be good so i am just gonna close this right here and then i'm gonna go ahead and do this do this and boom now it's all good to go sweet so now no errors and yeah that's about it so now we get web3 Alchemy, which is going to talk, talk to that API that we just created as a constant. And then we should be able to get those values. If you're wondering what the gas fee, you want to see the gas fee as the script is processing, we can do so. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to test it out, make sure that it works. So I am going to save it. Control S. Then I'm going to go into my React.js application. I'm going to refresh. And I'm going to connect, I'm going to buy mint and we should get that problem. There you go. Okay. Now let's see the gas. If you hover over here, you see that my react site has recommended this price, which is the base fee and the max priority fee and the gas limit. Okay. And then you can go ahead and mint. And this is literally suggested by alchemy. Let me copy this. Okay, so we're gonna copy that. So we are going to compare this with without the uh, EIP 1559 using Alchemy. 
So, suggested this price, and this is what we get if we use alchemy. Okay, this is alchemy. Using EIP 1559. And now let's remove the config and do it without it. And see the difference, okay? I'm gonna do it right here. Bum, bum. Bum. And until here, I'm just gonna do this to clear it out. And I am going to also do this right here, this right here. And now we want to send the transaction without this, just the value, okay? And uh, yeah, let's save it. Let's go back and see how that looks. So I wanna connect wallet, try to mint. This is the old one, now let's see the new one. Way different. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let me show you. Now let's go ahead and copy this and you definitely see the difference. This is copy. And now let's go back here. Now without alchemy, without EIP 1559. There we go. Oof, yeah, oof, insane. So it's literally more than double. More than double. The only the only difference is the gas limit, which is uh, provided by MetaMask, but then the priority and max base fee, way, way higher, okay? So there you go. That's literally the difference. <laughs> you have to do this, for sure, okay? So let's uh, put it back, and uh, we'll test the mint, and we'll call it a day. So I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna remove the comments. Boom. I'm gonna remove the comments. And then we are going to add the max ga fee per gas equals max fee and then comma max priority fee per gas okay and then we are going to call this max priority okay and I think I got, boom, awesome. So let's uh, save it and try it again. And refresh, connect, mint. Now let's cancel the last one and let's see again. Way different, for sure. Look at that. It's like literally completely different. So we got 1.6 and 1.02, okay? Alrighty, so let's go ahead and mint. And that should be it. Now, uh, once the transaction has been completed, I am going to um, make sure that I got a mint and we'll call it a day. Boom, and it got mint. Awesome. And now let me check this out and see how that goes. Boom, there you go. We just minted an NFT and we are using EIP 1559 to make sure that we got better gas fees. There you saw it. We got a way better transaction fee because we are now getting that information from Alchemy's API. So now we're sending our transaction using the latest gas fee on the last block processed. Okay, and we can also use pending. When we use pending in the call to get the last block, so when we get the last block, we can even do pending, meaning that there's a block that is built, it's still pending to be processed in the blockchain, but we can still get the gas fee because the gas fee is already applied. So we can get that value even for a pending, and you saw it on the video, okay? And we use that, we set it up on the smart contract, we set it up on the function, we executed that function, and we were able to see the difference of using this particular EIP 1559 approach and not using it, and you can definitely see the difference in price, okay? All right, that's it for this video. I hope you like my videos. If you do, you know what to do. You know what to do. Subscribe, like, and follow up for more. Thank you.